thesmartlocal.com Okay, why, 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 why two? You see, you look closely white. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna punch me in the face after this. <laughs> everyone, I'm Xenia. Welcome back to another episode of Hired or Fired. In this episode, I'm going to be a tattoo artist for a day. I've always loved tattoos or people with tattoos. <laughs> I mean, I would have gotten one myself if I could find something meaningful that I want to be reminded of every single day. I would describe a tattoo artist as a creative gentle giant. I mean, they look very intimidating on the outside sometimes because they're quite quiet and then they look a bit fierce. But most of the time when I pierce my ears at a tattoo shop, they are pretty chill and patient. I definitely see a tattoo artist as an artist. Just instead of drawing on canvas, they draw on human skin. The thing is, I can only draw a stick man. So I don't know how this episode is going to go, but I'm hoping I don't have to draw on an actual human being because wait, I spell wrong how? The person is gonna hate me, eh? Confirm regrets. <laughs> My name is Ian and I'm a tattoo artist at Iron Fist. I really enjoyed watching uh, tattoo related shows on TV. And when I turned 17, I got my first one with the approval of my parents, but not with their well, encouragement. Um, I went for a convention with my friends in Sabah. I guess going to a convention and seeing these free spirited people do their own thing like really appealed to me. And then I juggled my apprenticeship and school for like two years that I decided to like drop out of my final year in school to just chase this full time. I think to be a tattooer in particular, you gotta have a tenacity in you because tattooing is really hard and I think you gotta have some kind of EQ as well because you're not working on a piece of paper, you know, or like a board or whatever, or like a wall. You're working on a person and it's a complex human being with like thoughts and feelings and you have to be you have to take care of them. I think tattooing is 50% tattooing and 50% like almost being a therapist of sorts. Some people place value in, in, in honing your own, your own style. Some people place value in being jack of all trades. It really depends on what kind of artist you want to be for yourself. Hi! I'm Xenia. Hi, I'm Ian. I'll be your mentor today. Nice! What will I be doing today? Today you'll be going through some basic steps. We will focus on hygiene firstly. Secondly, we're gonna learn a bit about tattoo machines and how they work and a bit of the like some drawing. Okay. And the last bit you're going to be tattooing or applying a tattoo on fixed, oh. on fixed skin. Oh my heart! About to go and book a grab and go home already. But okay, sounds good. I'm excited. Let's go. Right, the first task is to clean the whole shop. So um, we usually end our days with it, but you're going to be vacuuming and mopping so that later when there's like actual clients around the shop, it won't be in their way. Okay, is it extremely important now just because it's COVID, COVID? Uh, we've always done it all the time anyway. It's key for a tattoo shop to have a high standard of hygiene, whether or not there's a pandemic. Say no more! Auntie Zinia is here. Let's uh -huh. go. Nice. <laughs> Let's get out of the way. Enjoy. No, 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 no. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <coughs> oh, my. Yeah. What a terrific idea. all the chairs back to where they were. One in front of the bench, one under the bed. For those with only one, just in front of the bench. And then just now the wire that you pick up. Yeah. Okay. okay, yes sir. Thank you very much. He say so fast, but a bit never absorb. <laughs> So 
So the idea is to set up a workbench to prepare for the tattoo. Whatever you touch, it must be wrapped. The first step is I use green soap. It's just soap. I spray on the table like that. So you go like that, you pull it to one side mm -hmm. and then you go like that. I like to use a paper towel yeah. to just kind of push it down. After that, I use a dental bib. I tape across like that. Mm. Like that. Yeah. After that, you're going to take a tongue depressor, which in half. Okay. This is for your Vaseline. The purpose of Vaseline is to lubricate the skin. This isn't a real tattoo. Vaseline mm -hmm. isn't 100% necessary, but we're mm -hmm. going to approach the fake skin like it is. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Can I? Easy. Let's go. So easy. Wrong side. There we go. Done. Fantastic. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Today, we're gonna eventually work up to doing this tattoo. Um, this is one tattoo that I've done recently, wow. and I've designed something kind of similar to for you to do today. Essentially, what we'll be doing is thick lines, and then thin lines, and then black shading, black packing, and then coloring. Yeah. So, but before we do all that, we're gonna warm up with learning how to do lines. Because the foundation of everything is lines. These are just lines on ballpoint pen, lines on thick skin. I want you to line every single one as a warm up. Okay. okay. So there are a few things to take note of when you do lines. One is the angle and the speed. Mm -hmm. Alright. This is put this is called pushing the line. Because okay. your the angle of the skin is this way. If I go like that or I go like that, it's called pulling the line. So we run it first, yeah. then we dip it in the ink. Oh, yeah, this is it. Oh no, oh my god. You can do that. You can do longer lines if you're more confident. It's okay. Two words, clean and solid. Okay. Wow, okay. Angle depth speed. Sorry? Angle depth speed to be constant. Oh. Sorry? <laughs> uh, angle, angle, depth and speed. To okay, be oh, okay. I spent about 568 hours drawing lines. <laughs> I cannot yeah. feel my first knuckle anymore. You tell me whether I can move on to the next stage. I think it's pretty dope. All, we, all we've been doing up to now is straight lines. Mm. So um, I've designed a little something for her to tattoo. It's a little bit complex, but I think it could be fun. The tattoo process would be to apply this stencil or to paste it onto somebody then let it dry and then begin the tattooing. Right. Since it's fixed skin, it takes a while to dry. So I've actually applied it last night. Mm. And then now we're going to apply it on the producer. And after that, she's going to do the tattoo on fake skin still. I am going to apply the stencil on Amanda. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to find a midpoint. So I'm going to use this leg and then you do that one. Yeah. Okay. The second thing to do is shave the leg. Really? You shave your leg? <laughs> so we only shave here? Correct. I don't want to hold it, it's okay. <laughs> oh. So you're foaming it, yeah. Oh my god! Can I request for him to shave my whole leg? It's a very intimate service before yes. the stencil. The next bit is to clean the surface with alcohol. Okay. Okay, this sterilizes the skin. Yeah. After alcohol touches the skin, right? Nothing else that's contaminated can touch it anymore. So it's pretty straightforward, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. This cream is what transfers the stencil from the stencil paper onto mm. the skin. Mm. Like that. On the center first. Mm -hmm. and then on the sides. A dry, dry paper towel. This one is like, you know, all the fake the tattoos you buy exactly. at Pasamalam. Totally the same concept. Oh. Yeah, and then you go like that. Oh, wow. And it's stencil porn after that. 
It's quite satisfying, right? Eh? Yeah, man. Alright. Ma'am, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> I know, I'm very scared. I'm... <laughs> All right, the time has come. I'm going to tattoo Amanda with a fake skin strap to her thigh. So even though it's a fake skin, it is strapped onto a tie, right? So there is the natural curve, which is something I have not tried before. But it's okay. I got this. So prior to this, how well do you think I would do? I thought you'd be I thought you would do great, man. Oh uh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So upon 10? Um <laughs> You can you uh, cannot be too <laughs> nice, uh. Yeah. Or well, like actual like honest tattoo technical skill wise. It's like a two. Hey, you're the kind of guy who will break a girl's heart, you know? You just told me to be honest. <laughs> Maxi, what would you give? Five? Yeah. Uh, five then. Let's go with five. No! Cannot like... Cannot! Cannot, cannot. Okay, why, 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 why two? You see, you look closely white. Whoa! What? <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna punch me in the face after this. <laughs> Lines, very wonky. Mm. Um, a lot of them do not touch where they need to touch. Some you double line them for a first try. Ten out of ten. Now I don't know whether I'll be higher or higher. Just now, I keep saying I'm higher already, I'm higher already. Hey, this is the one episode I feel like my, my heart got cheated. Mm. I think we'll have to think about it and we'll come back for the most important question. This episode went from 0 to 100 real quick. I was just casually mopping and vacuuming the floor and the next thing I know, my stress level has gone through the roof. I know, I was just drawing straight lines on thick skin and it looks and sounds easy but it's not at all. The grip was so heavy. So I didn't even think about being steady, you know. I was just holding it so that I don't poke myself and die. And the thing is, I always thought tattoo artists just need to know how to draw. But today I realised they have to be super knowledgeable about their equipment, sanitization, and also becoming someone that people can trust. Besides all the technical stuff, one thing that I never knew about this craft is how much perseverance and confidence you need to tattoo on someone. <sighs> I tell you, when your body starts giving way, like right now, my back is gone, my knuckle is sore, all I wanted to do just now was to take a break. But imagine how many breaks I would take. I think Amanda would be 50 years old already. And I just want to say that this is unlike most Higher of Fire episodes where it's just physically tiring. This is both physical and mental. Because the minute you lose focus, that's it. Amanda won't be my friend anymore. Okay, so we are done with my crash course. Yes, we are. Very intense today. Yes, it was. But it was very fun. Yeah, it's good. You're also very handsome. Thank you very much. You got much. nice tattoos. Thank you. You made your decision ready? I have. You must be honest, huh? Always. Honest. Will you hire or fire me? Hey, don't lie la. <laughs> <laughs> you give me 10. <laughs> Please explain. 10 marks. I've, I've struggled with, well, fake skin a lot actually. If I were to actually hire or take an apprentice, you know, mm. I don't think it boils down to how well you do on your first day. It boils down to tenacity. If it's 2 over 10, right? can only go up from there. I know the machine that you use is really heavy. 
Mm. I've been there, I've had the three weeks of no feeling in my fingers. I offered you a lot of outs just now. I offered you, you don't have to vacuum this half of the shop. I offered you, you want me to do some lines for you off camera? Do you want to make the design simpler? You said no to all of them. That's the kind of thing that I legitimately look out for. Skill can be trained. Technical things can be trained. Hard work is, if you don't want, you don't want. And because of that, I get. I thought I would be fired because Said yeah. <laughs> I just want to thank you also because awesome. you shared with me that people have to go through months and years of training to be able to touch the tattoo machine and same for yourself, right? But today I had the chance, it's an honour. It really bumped up my confidence too much. Hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, but it was good. Yeah, because let you down after at that, least right? I finished the job. <laughs> yeah, we did. <clears throat> I did. And that's the important bit. So we are done with filming and I can bring this home! And there's a secret message behind. Good job, Xenia. You should be proud of yourself because I am Ian. Oh! <laughs> so cute. Thank you for watching this episode of Hired or Fired. If you like this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And ring our notification bell and watch our other videos over there. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>